Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and I want to talk about a feature that I found on Lifehacker today, which will add more functionality to your screen, save, screen sharing feature in Leopard. Now, prior to this, uh, this tip, I had been using the screen sharing feature in a traditional fashion by using Finder, and uh, I thought this was a good way to do it. So before I actually do it, I'm actually going to record it as I do it, and if I <laughs> if I run into any mistakes, they're all genuine. So first thing it says to do in this tip on Lifehacker is to navigate to System Library Core Services. And I have System Library here. I'm going to go down to Core Services. And then it says um, find the screen sharing app and drag it to your application. So let's go ahead and do that. There's a screen sharing app and I'm going to drag it to applications. I need to authenticate. And it's copying and it's complete. So that part's done. What's the next step say? It says fire up terminal and enter the following one line command which will be easy which will provide easy to read shortcuts for connecting a local computer so I'm gonna go ahead fire up a terminal here do a new tab or a new window actually and I'm gonna copy and paste this command I don't know if I need to, I need to authenticate or sudo this I guess we'll see in a second okay And it says now run the screen sharing app. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Make sure that's in applications, and it is. Here we go. So I pretty much got exactly what they have here. I got my computers, and I have a uh, Bonjour. It says now run the screen sharing app. You should see an interface similar to what you see in the screenshot. I do, but that's not all. But wait, there's more. <laughs> The next terminal tweak adds two bar buttons, excuse me, to the screen sharing window to control the quality of your session, window, window control, and other tweaks. So let's go ahead and copy this guy into terminal. And it says uh, relaunch screen sharing. So I'll do that. Let's quit it. Quit it. Click silver and just relaunch it. And I don't see anything just yet. And be sure that you've selected the show and toolbar in the view menu. Aha. I didn't select that. So let's do one of these. And it's grayed out for some reason. Let's see if I did something wrong. Okay, that's my other computer there. Okay, I'll do show toolbar. And there they are. Sweet. So now I have the screen sharing app configured and running here. Which I didn't know was there actually. And I have this neat little toolbar to control the quality. I can increase and decrease the color. See it turned a little bit black and white there. I can go to full blast. And uh, what does this do? Fit the screen or full display. Capture screen to a file. And it asked me for a file. Cool. So let's go ahead and see how that file looks. B McCall. Was it McCall Remote something? Yeah. It's a TIFF file. It's actually, open down there. Looks good. Some other buttons here. They say to actually let me focus first. Switch between control and observe mode. Sweet. And also share a mouse and keyboard with user. Nice. 
So here's a quick tip, and uh, I just walk you through me doing it without even doing it first. <laughs> I saw it on Lifehacker. Thought I'd share it with you guys on how to activate this new screen sharing, or well, not new, but hidden screen sharing app, as well as activate some hidden button options. All right, this is Born from Born.tv, saying enjoy your leopard.